So we have a, I work for Tree People, we have a contest every year um, called From the Streets to the Sea and it addresses urban runoff. And what we challenge students to do is to first start with um, uh, auditing their campus and kind of, they come up with like, what are the, what's the water issues on our campus? Is it runoff? Is it c conservation, et cetera? Um, we have them decide on something they want to do. Um, they implement it with our help. So like one thing was, um, one, stu one group of students wrote an assembly program about, you know, meat and how horrible it is, you know, so, and they dressed up as meat and they did an assembly and then they did posters and they did a big advocacy campaign about meat. Another one uh, wanted f uh, low flush toilets in their, in their, on their s school campus, so they did a drive. They did an e-waste drive to raise some money and then recycling of bottles and cans to raise some money um, to s and, and all kinds of like fundraisers to, to get those low flush toilets and they got them in. That's the first stage of the contest. Then once they they do the project with, with our support. We lead them in all the right directions. We help them fundraise. Um, they s submit it, and the 10 best, the 10 most, I don't want to say best, I hate using that word, but the 10 most interesting uh, campaigns uh, get to come to Disney to present like kind of science fair style, what they come up with as, a, as their solution, as their prob problem and their solution. And then one middle school gets chosen and one high school gets chosen. And they get to go on the floating lab in Long Beach, you know, to have a day on the water, in it, which is really, really cool. So we've had some amazing projects using all of the steps, all of the actions, that, well, the nine elements that turn into seven elements that turn into five elements of service learning. You know, all of them are touched in this journey, and um, I'm telling you, going around there and seeing these little faces talk about this stuff and being so passionate, because we pick five representatives from each project, so now there's something to work toward for the kids and for the teacher to dangle as a carrot. You get to go to Disney and showcase your project, you know, and um, it's just, I, I can't walk around there and not cry every time I do it. It's really, really amazing, and they're really, really engaged, so that... That model has kind of worked for us, and if anybody wants to know more about the contest, let me know. It's, it's going on from now to March 1st. Um, but yeah, it's called From the Streets to the Sea, so that's been kind of a success. And do you provide curriculum content for that? Yes, so we have, we have specialists at Tree People. We have like a recycling waste specialist, we have a water specialist, mm -hmm. we have a gardening specialist, and they will work with the teacher right. depending on the project. So I basically sell our program, but they, our, our um, experts will be the people who work with the teachers to get the curriculum going.